Next <coughs> up, we have Lena Robertson from the School Administration Program. And she'll be talking with us this evening about changing our school culture one habit at a time. How sharp is your saw? It's a strange question, but it's really important to the teachers and students at my school at Edneyville Elementary. Two years ago, we had the lowest test scores in our county. We had the lowest attendance in our county. And when you surveyed us, we had the unhappiest teachers in our county. We knew we had to make big changes. We researched innovative and engaging schools and discovered A.B. Combs in Raleigh, North Carolina. This was a school that had leadership at its core, a school that, was a, that pioneered the Leader in Me program and followed the seven habits created by Stephen Covey. This was a school where teachers and students took ownership of the educational experience, and we knew this is what we wanted to emulate. No longer could we be reactive to the demands of our job. We had to be proactive and make our job what we knew it could become. We began with the end in mind, and we began a year-long book study of The Leader in Me by Stephen Covey. This, this helped us think about what are those big changes that we need to do. These meetings were long. They were hard. We cried. We fought. People complained a lot. But at the end, we started to create and we started to dream. We knew we could not entice students to come to a school that teachers themselves did not want to be a part of. We had to do the hard work before we could reap the rewards. We invited speakers from Leader and Me to come to our school. We visited lighthouse schools in our county, and we began to study the art of leadership. When you look at two kindergartners and see them settling a dispute using a think win win strategy, you know that you've witnessed something very special. We began that next year, and we synergized, and we said, What can we do next? We collaborated, we looked at our students, and we talked with them. We had a lot of conversations with our colleagues. We are teachers, and universally, we are very good at talking. So listening to colleagues and listening to our students did not come easily to us. But those collaborative discussions did more for us than any professional development could ever have. We looked at our students and we said, how can we show you how to become the leaders that we feel ourselves becoming? We finally looked and decided that this is what we wanted our school to become. We wanted to become a leader in these school. And we knew that our students were becoming better from the inside out. Attendance and test scores are just byproducts of this system. So how sharp is your saw? We are looking at sharpening our saw by improving ourselves. We want to create a balance between work and play and rest. We have created that balance at Edneyville Elementary, a balance of leadership and ownership of our educational experience. Thank you.